predict and provide. Now the good thing about that is that it's the easiest one to do, yeah? Because we're, that's kind of what we're doing, yeah? So we're, oh, we are the Mr. Man, a ring and a whinge and I need a bit of that. So oh, I'll give you a little bit more of that. And, oh, the Mr. Premier, I can't do a little bit more. Okay, well, we'll build a little bit more of that. Now it's slightly more scientific than that, but not much. A little bit of growth, you get a little bit more stuff. You get a little bit of growth, you get a little bit more stuff. You get a little bit of growth and you get a little bit more stuff. We kind of know how to do this, don't we? And we've been doing it for ages. And we, it's the easiest one to do. It's the most recognisable. It's the least risk. Who's that important for? A little bit, yeah. Who do the taxpayers yell at when something goes wrong? Politicians. Less risk? Oh, I'm more like to have a crack at that. Yeah. Not, I, was already, I know you don't have NIMBYs here, but you know, one might come over from Sydney or Melbourne and visit you from time to time. And so that, that risk is really, oh, just oh, look, I know what to do here. Last time this happened, I just did this. I'll do that again. Yeah? Decision makers know what they're getting. They know how to do it. They can rinse and repeat. Yeah? Everyone who's in the box seat now stays there. So if you can afford to drive, if you can afford to car, then this suits you perfectly because we keep providing for you. Oh, I haven't got enough parking. It's all right, I'll build you some more. Need a bit more road space. I'm getting stuck. Well, we'll figure out a way to build you some more. So it's easy to do. And those people who are benefiting now from the transport system, keep on doing it. If you're stuck out now, though, if you can't afford a car, you're kind of still going to be out of it in this scenario. It doesn't introduce any new people to the city. People who don't want to drive or can't drive or can't afford a car, they're not going to really feel welcome in a new city using this. The other trick about this is it centres most of our mobility around driving a car, which is okay because it's convenient and cars are kind of cool. If I could afford one, I'd probably get one. But it is the most expensive way from the community's perspective. It's the most expensive way for us to get around. It's the most dangerous way for us to get around. And so centering all the mobility on a car, there's a risk in that. So choosing these are the car-based options. We have to know, OK, I understand that risk and I'm going to go this way anyway, but we can't un not understand that risk. So the car is maybe not the best way to get around all the time. So this predict and provide tends to still center us on that mode. So scenario one, not too much of a big deal. We can just kind of go back to work tomorrow and keep doing what we're doing. No one's going to get too upset. Every now and again I'll go crook because I got stuck on the brook or I got stuck on the southern Adelaide on the way in. But if there's no dingles and it's kind of, I get a pretty good run when it's not school period, we can just tick away as we are. Predict and provide, it's pretty easy. And all your competitors, that's what they're kind of doing. So you can just blend in with them and do the same as them. And you'll kind of get some sort of result. No one will get too upset. You're all tickety-boo here. 